Hello, all of our lovely Mattperson Live patrons and everybody on YouTube. I am, that is Buckingham Palace right behind me. I am here today reporting for Sky News. I'm actually the Royal Correspondent. I've been here since 6 a.m. I've been on Sky News, which is also an affiliate of NBC, and I've been on three times per hour as the Royal Correspondent today with Alistair Bruce for Sky News. Buckingham Palace is right behind there, and I'll try to get a little bit more. I do have bags under my eyes. I've been up since 4 a.m., but it has been literally like possibly the best day of, I mean, literally the best day of my entire life. It's six o'clock. This is Sky News live from Buckingham Palace on the third day of national celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I'm joined here by Royal commentator Viscountess Hitchingbrook, Julie Montague. Uh, she's going to be with us throughout the morning. So really Great. lovely to have you with Thanks us, for uh, Julie. Me. So I'm here with Sky News and you can see well, I'm the Royal Correspondent all day today and you can kind of see right behind this grandstand that is where the concert is tonight is Buckingham Palace and I'm up in that one there um, I'm gonna head back to where we do hair makeup food all that stuff there but it's really exciting to be here I think it's really a span of her 70 years having somebody like David Attenborough there really does represent uh, you know the span of her of her I 70 years. I think he's the same age actually. Yeah. Isn't he? <laughs> he is yeah. the same so, age and they're very good friends we know that. So I think again it's a celebration of these 70 years not just what's happening now but you know of the past and sort of memories of the past and evoking those memories um, for all of us of her 70 year reign and as you say perhaps reaching out to all age groups Absolutely. And including everybody. Absolutely. This is the Sky News box, if you like. So we're there, and then you can see I keep walking up and down from there, from through there, and then up there three times per hour. Press pass, press pass. So cool. But this is what I really like on the back. That. The official seal, the Platinum Jubilee. Press pass, keeping this one forever. All right, I'm just finishing four hours of reporting for Sky, and they're starting to rehearse here today for the concert tonight. It's so amazing. It's only 10 a.m. in the morning. I've been here since five. I started at six, and gosh, it's incredible. I feel like the luckiest person in the world. She's been that constant throughout all of our lives. Yeah, I mean, that was extraordinary what um, what you just said. I mean, 14 prime ministers, 14 presidents, you know, 30 corgis. <laughs> and, I mean, <laughs> that's more corgis than presidents. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, that's the wonderful thing about the Queen. And, you know, as an American, sometimes I wish that we had something or someone like the Queen who unifies. But the Queen has been this constant. She's a unifier. And I think she's not only a unifier here in this country, but around the world. Because even amongst people who are anti the monarchy, you'll find very few people who don't have enormous respect for her and recognize her kind of unflinching sense of duty and, and stoicism. Absolutely. You know, out on the Mall on Thursday, uh, you know, I was out on the Mall and there were, you know, crowds and crowds of people and they were all, they all had different political preferences, but they were unifying together because it was the queen, because the queen is apolitical and she has been this constant source, I think, of support and a real sense of a, a, a rock, like a steadfast rock for people to turn to in times of need and for that comfort. Uh, well, Julie Montague, pleased to say that you'll be back with us a little bit later. Absolutely. But for the moment, thanks very much indeed.